Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Valentino unboxing for you guys today. And it's actually a gift for my husband for Valentine's Day. And I wanted to share it with you guys because it is such a great piece. And of course, I thought it would be a good idea to share with you guys any of the Porter collaboration items that my husband and I have in our collection. But before I get started, my name is Rochelle. I love luxury, I love hype bathing. So if that is up your alley, why not consider subscribing and like this video as well. And let's begin. So this is going to be the second time that I'm filming this, okay? <sighs> my worst video editing or video filming worst nightmare has happened i bought a new microphone recently and of course when i wanted to edit the video the mic was not on so <laughs> i need to get better with doing test clips before i actually sit down and film but because this is the second time that i am filming for you guys i actually did a full makeup for you guys Okay, but let's now officially begin. We are going to start off with the unboxing first. I figured we get this one out of the way so we can talk about the rest of the collab pieces in this collection. I really wanted the hot pink PPP um, Valentino bag, but this is not for me, so it doesn't matter. Plus it's white and red, so it's kind of like a Valentine's Day type of packaging. But let's open it up. So it's going to be in this beautiful red box here. And you know, guys, uh, because this is my second time opening it, the bowl wasn't um, put on when I first had unboxed it. And I tried to figure it out. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So that's why it looked the way that it did. Okay. <laughs> so to show you. This is the dust bag here. And as you can see with the patches here. It is the Valentino and Porter patch. And to show you what I had got. My husband is going to be. Ta -da. So it is this Valentino V's all over the nylon and it's this little pouch that has a strap with the little coin or AirPod or whatever you want little charm at, on it as well. The strap is very interesting. It's not just just this web strap on the strap here you can also see that it has the valentino nylon on it as well let's refocus back on the pouch here so you see here it has again the valentino porter patch and then on the inside what i really like is that it has the red color porter is known to have the orange lining so the red i want to say represents the valentino coloring also there's the front pocket here and then hardware is going to be gunmetal silver and when you open it up it is going to be red on the lining as well the little pouch I believe might also have the red coloring too let's see oh yeah it does have the red coloring on the inside of this little pouch. So for this bag, I thought it was just one of the best ones in the collection because I have Fendi Baguette Porter ones already and the little bags that they had is just so reminiscent of the Fendi Porter. I do like the green. I was very interested in seeing what that dark green looked like, but I didn't realize how much it paid off a little bit more gray and black. I didn't want a black piece. I already have a black one and you'll see it later in the video. But I thought this was great for my husband because he does love these little pouchy things. And let me show you a comparison of the ones that he usually buys from Porter. 
which looks like this. So you can see there's a significant size difference. I actually thought they were going to be the same. Um, I didn't realize how much more bigger the Valentino version is. But he uses this um, for, he puts his pocket organizer that he uses all the time from Louis Vuitton. And he smokes, so a lot of that stuff fits in here. Also, it has like the little claw clasp and it also has the detachable part here where he can put it on like a bag or a belt and it does have the two the features are very similar so it has the two buttons in the front this one does not have that back pocket which one this one does and this is a double zipper as opposed to the single one and this actually opens i believe yeah it opens further down than the Valentino one. So this is their signature orange. So when we're looking at the zipper, you see the drop on this one is actually a lot lower. But I guess this is also because it's big in size because this is something that's supposed to be more wearable as a bag and not just a, you know, not just a clutch like that. But the one thing that I noticed too is that this doesn't have the d-ring attached to it the same way that the smaller porter pouch has so he would need something else to attach this to he likes to attach this to his pockets or not his pockets i'm sorry belt loops so i don't know if there's something that i could do to add to it but I like that you can wear these pieces separately. I think that is awesome. But yeah, this is what I got him for Valentine's Day and I hope he likes it. I know when I was showing him pictures of the collection, this is the one that really jumped out at him. He thought that was really cool. And I believe this one also comes in that burgundy brown color, which really looks great in pictures. But after seeing the pictures of the green, I think the black was the best choice. Plus, you've seen how beat up his black one is, so let's hope he doesn't beat this one up too much. Now let's move on to the Porter collaboration pieces that I do have, and I have to say, I didn't realize there was that many pieces until I gathered them up together. <laughs> so I hope this video doesn't end up being so long, but we have to start with my favorite ones in the collection and that is going to be the Fendi baguettes. <laughs> so let's talk about this one first. So this is from the first collection, collaboration collection with Fendi and this is the one that I actually had pre-ordered and I picked the color red because Porter isn't really known for doing too much red. And the first release of the collaboration with Fendi is the gold hardware here. And even if you look at the patch here, it's even stitched with the gold too. And then it has just all, all gold, which is not so common in men's collection. This is a men's collection piece, by the way. Um, of course, it has the signature orange same on the inside as well and it comes with three different straps a crossbody strap a top handle strap and these here for a belt bag strap definitely love this piece this is one of my favorite pieces forever pieces in my collection and you know your girl loves nylon on this channel so this was my very first introduction piece to the fendi porter collaboration i loved that bag so much that i ended up getting the xxl i believe or just regular xl baguette in the color black with of course again the gold hardware i this is from the first launch of this collection i did not pre-order it because i didn't know how big it was gonna be also i believe when they first released the prices on these were a lot if you paid porter prices before you know adding in that luxury brand name definitely hikes up the price so i believe this was about this was about three thousand two hundred dollars i believe when it released and the other one that i just previously showed you was maybe about twenty five hundred don't quote me it's been a while but it was a lot so lucky for me 
I found it on the real real and I got a better price for this I think I paid a thousand seven hundred so I definitely saved so if this is a piece that you wish to seek for in the future I would just say wait for consignment sites to get them because the price of them would be so much better um, I I can't tell you how much I love the baguettes I love the red one so much that it really made me want to get the black one and this fulfills all my Chanel maxi extra large you know airport style bags that I always wanted to get. And the last piece that I got from Fendi is the most recent. This is from their second drop. I believe it was their, was it the 25th anniversary of the baguette? Don't quote me on the years, but this was one of the special ones that released and this is in the phone size. I believe they made this specifically for the phones. And it's the smallest size in the Baguette collection and this second launch came with the silver hardware. As you can see, the patch too also doesn't have any of the gold finishing on the patch. And here you can see it's all just silver hardware. The interesting thing about this bag is that the lining is this beautiful shade of yellow instead of that signature orange. I guess they didn't want to do any repeats. And then on the inside, you see one panel with the yellow as well. This does come with a top handle strap and a strap to make it a belt bag. Again, quality is everything with Porter and they are still made all in Japan, hand done, made in Japan. So I really appreciate the workmanship and the, the craftsmanship of the Fendi baguette. But so obsessed that I had to get this. The one that I missed out on was the medium grayish green color. And I think about it all the time. But <laughs> this baguette styles forever my favorite i think anytime when they do a release as long as it's a color that i don't have i might be interested in and i'm gonna be honest with you guys too sometimes i feel like i want to complete the whole collection so i will go on consignment shops to see what is available and if it's a great price i might jump on it but fendi baguettes i hope this is not the end of them imagine if they made this in a nano baguette I'll forever be poor next in the collection is I am not too sure if this collection actually came out before the Fendi I want to say it hasn't but again don't quote me okay so it is the Montclair fragment collection and this is Montclair fragment and Porter collection here this is definitely a Porter styled bag it is not a Montclair styled bag so it really just has a Montclair in the front but it has the front zipper and the one opening and the back you see all these utility things that you can use so you can attach this to other bags your belt you can even put a belt loop through uh, you can put a belt through these loops here as well the one thing that I know that makes this a signature Montclair is the shiny nylon is very Montclair so not surprised that it's in the shiny but i really do love this bag it's so cute especially worn as like a bum bag belt bag style i really love it and the last piece that i got from the montclair fragment porter collection is going to be this bag here i believe this is called the howl bag if it's not i will post the appropriate name here but it has the montclair genius bell here and then it says Montclair fragment this I use actually as my tech bag so you I have a lot of tech things in here that's initially what I bought it for and then you see the patching here and it has the shoulder strap again in the shiny nylon in it like I said I bought this mainly as a tech bag you can fit your laptop if, even if you had a 16 inch but I have a 13 and I have everything here all the utility pockets make it for the best utility bag because I can fit so many things in here. This is my most used porter bag, but it's just so good. Like I have so much things in here that I know if it's a tech thing, I know it's exactly in this bag, but 
I love it. I even want a small nano version. I know they make them now, but every time when I went to Japan or my husband went to Japan or Korea, they were always sold out. So this is one style I definitely recommend if you're looking for utility. These two bags are in collaboration with Stussy. So as you can see, they are both belt bags. This one is from the girls section. So that is why it is slightly smaller than the men's collection. It looks very unassuming, but they do have this little S here on the patch logo next to the Porter logo. And it is it is very unassuming. You would never have guessed that this would be a Stussy piece until you look on the inside where you see the Stussy patch and it has a signature orange. This is in a canvas and not a nylon that of course Porter is known for, but it's still the same type of style that you know Porter for. The inside of this gray one too, it does have more of a Stussy vibe. Like you can see some of the Stussy designs in as well. But this is probably my husband's favorite belt bag because I think it is so unassuming. And if you know, you know type of thing. So he really likes it. And if you could really see it, it's so beat up. Like it's it has like discoloration in the back because he's worn it so much. But this is the tag which is actually a white tag as opposed to the black tag. One from Bape. This is a Bape and Porter collaboration as you can see right here. I actually thought my husband had two of these. He might. I thought there was a blue navy one around, but I'm not 100% sure. This is the only one that I could find. So it is in the green camo. So you can see the Bape throughout, but it's again in that belt bag. So these belt bags are actually really great because you can fit so much things in here. Bottle water, you can fit anything. I can fit cameras in here. It's a really great sized bag. And of course with the nylon, it's, it's just so good. I save the best for last, okay? Because when this bag came out, I knew I needed it. I had to reach into the depths of my soul to find this, especially because I am not in Japan. So I could not resist. I paid a little bit more to get it, but overall I'm happy. It is one of my forever bags as well. And that is the Takashi Murakami collaboration piece. As you can see here, it has the kai 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 flower in the tanker green color and it is the porter nylon and you see the patch there as well and then on the opposite side it has let me show you it has the content i like to call it the content face i don't know if that's what it is so the happy face and the content face on the back as well that you can show off if you wanted to but also detailing guys detailing is fantastic if you did not want to wear the flower guess what you have the kai 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 flowers stitched on this pocket here and it's just glorious another great detailing that i love about this bag as well is the fact that the look at look at the dust bag look at the dust bag it has the Kai 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 flowers all over the tanker nylon. How beautiful. And that's the same type of lining that you would see inside of the bag as well. So it is, we have a lot of these belt bags, obviously, because that's just the collaboration ones. I did not show you yet the whole extent of the Porter collection. If that is something you would like to see, I need to see people tell me because otherwise that it's going to be such a long video, I feel like, because there's so many Porter pieces that we had acquired throughout the years shopping with them. <sighs> so if that is something very serious, I need to see people tell me, but otherwise that I think sharing the collaboration pieces with you guys is good enough for me right now. But. The belt bag, so good. If there is two things, maybe three things that I could recommend you buying from Porter would be a belt bag for sure. Doesn't matter what size because they're both great because we have a smaller version as well in the tanker, green as well, and a Nano Boston duffel. I have a couple nylon um, Nano ones in my collection because they're so cute. And I think the third piece would actually be the, there's this key charm that my husband and I have, which is fantastic. It's so utility, it's so great. 
I will insert a picture if I can find one here. But those are the three things that I would recommend that you get from Porter. A lot of the things from there quality wise is fantastic. So it doesn't matter what you get, but definitely get a Porter thing because it will last for years. But guys, that concludes this video with the Valentino Porter unboxing and my Porter collaboration collection pieces with you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Also, if you haven't still, why? Subscribe. And until next time, you guys, you guys are always the Ellis. I appreciate you. I love ya. I'll see you next time.